What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ashlyn, and I am back with another video. But before we get into things, I want to extend a challenge to everybody that's watching. If you're not following me at XOAshlyn on Instagram, please follow me so that you can get the stipulation guidelines for the fitness challenge that I am doing for this month. Because listen, there is money involved, okay? We are all going to win. We are all going to lose this weight, and we are all going to get a bag at the same time. So let's go sign up if you haven't already because i want to be working with you guys i'm going to be doing some coaching doing some assisting you know as far as keeping you guys on track we're all going to be accountable you know just looking out for each other so let's do it let's do it sign up the dates are going to be april 27th through may 25th because this summer we're gonna be on point okay period so Let's get into why you're really here. You're really here so that I can tell you about all the different changes that I went through on this weight loss journey because it was just that, a journey, all right? So let's get into the physical aspect of things. So my breasts, let's, my, my titties, they sag. They sag a little bit more. They sag a little bit more than they used to. And this is not just, you know, your aging kind of sag, you know, a little hang hang as you get older. That's not the case. Um, this is because, you know, I've lost 40 pounds in less than a year um, and lost 20 of those pounds in one month. So when you happen to lose a substantial amount of weight in a short amount of time, there are just some physical changes that are bound to happen, you know, and they're not always the, you know, your waist is snatched and all that kind of thing. All of the good stuff that we, we're, we're looking for, there are going to be some things that you're not going to be expecting to see that you're not going to care for. You know, my arms like, oh my gosh, bat wings. Bat wings on deck, baby. About to take flight, baby girl. <laughs> like, you know, but I'm cool with it. You know, I'm in I'm in a space where I just feel so good about myself. Like, I'm not gonna go get surgery to get a breast lift, you know. And then another thing, let me get into that. My tits are way smaller for sure. Um, my cup size, I knew that there was a difference. I was trying to buy, excuse me, trying to avoid going to buy another bra, you know, because they're really pricey. Um, but I was like, yo, sis, you know, you need to go ahead and take care of that. So I finally went down to Victoria's Secret and I was just like, hey, ma'am, I know that these things are not sitting in the cups the way they used to. There's a gap here. There's a gap, ma'am. Can you help me out with this gap? So she went ahead and sized me up and she's like, yeah, um, you actually wear the smallest band size that we offer now. It's a, a 32. I'm like, 32, baby girl, what? what universe and then she went proceeded to tell me that i wore a 32 triple d and that's where the confusion set in because i'm just like how do i go from a double d to a triple d even though i know these d's are smaller so maybe if one of you titty experts in the comments can go ahead and let us know and explain you know the whole cup band yada yada whoop de woo i just know that my breasts are smaller but i'm okay with that i'm absolutely okay with that because the back pain that i've endured over the past god i've had these things since i was 13 i'm cool with them being smaller as long as they don't get too much smaller i'm, I'm good with these okay i'm good i'm good with these um in addition to that my stretch marks they lightened on my hips woo -woo. although i don't know that anybody really cares about stretch marks in 2020 because it's just kind of like par for the course as a woman you're just going to have stretch marks i mean mine made a debut when i was 12 so i I don't know that I'm going to care about stretch marks that have been here longer than, you know, my dog's been living. I, I don't care about stretch marks. I just don't. Um, I have clearer skin. I want you guys to just get into this. Get in, oh, yes, God. Yes, for this face. Yes. I'm kidding. But I'm so thankful. Um, I've never been like really acne prone, thankfully. Um, you know, so that's a good thing, but there was always an issue as far as discoloration. And yeah, man, I'm blessed. This is a blessing. Weight loss has really like made some things happen for me and has brought about some really positive changes in my life. So I'm 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 with it. I'm with it. And I hope you with it too. Um I can see my bones. My boyfriend was the one that noticed that at first. He's like, hey, check this out. Look at you. And I'm like, oh. Is that me? Is that Ashley with the oh look at that? Let me show a little show. Like I was excited about that. So yeah, small victory, right? Um, more energy. So I'm a special ed teacher 
And part of one of my duties is co-teaching. So I run across my campus a lot, going to different classrooms and working. So I've got to run across campus to this one, this one, this one, this one. And I used to be so tired, y'all. I used to be so winded, exhausted, just like, you know, kids, I walk in and be like, you just give me a second, baby, just give me a second. You know, versus now I'm good. You know, um, I used to go on walks, like in the beginning of my relationship with my boyfriend, we go take our dogs on a walk and he's just like, do, 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 you know, because in the time he's just like, picture of health in the military, all that, whoop, 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 whoop. So uh, there's little old me. Did I just say little old me? There was big mama me and I was just like, <sighs> But you know when you want to like hold in your gasping because you don't want him to know that you're tired, but you know deep down you're like, bitch, like that's how I was. That's how I was regularly. And I'm not like that anymore. We can go do walks, jogs, all that. I'm like, yay, let's go. I'm physically active and I'm not feeling bad about it. I'm feeling good and excited and ready and lit. So yeah, that goes away going upstairs. You know, it's easy to go up the stairs. Any kind of physical activity, I'm... I'm uh, much more um, positive positive about, uh, and I look forward to a little bit more. I'm not gonna say I enjoy everything about being physical and exercise and all that good stuff, absolutely not .com, but it's absolutely necessary. It's just totally necessary to keep that exercise, you know, and, and keep those, you know, good vibes going, okay? Those endorphins pumping and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get into the mental and emotional aspect of the changes that occurred as a result of my weight loss. So I became a much more positive thinker. Um, there is something that really is amazing about when you set a goal and you meet that goal. And then you set another goal and you meet that goal. See, because you can say, oh, I wanna lose 40 pounds. And I've had that 40 pound <laughs> weight loss goal in my head since, oh, I don't know, 2011. Realistically, I'd had that in my head since 2011, but I just didn't have the good enough. I didn't have good enough habits, um, you know, but you can have that goal in mind, but you need to be setting more attainable goals in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? You should be setting like maybe like a five pound goal. I want to lose five pounds this month, you know, and then once you see that you've met that goal, that just sets a spark like it ignites a spark and you're just like, what? I'm gonna keep this cracking, keep this moving, keep this momentum flowing. And that's exactly what I did. And I just man, I'm, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm happier. I'm much more confident. Oh girl, I'm walking around this town. Like you can't tell me nothing. Okay. Like I'm really, really happy about the skin that I'm in and I'm thankful to the most high, you know, um, that I just finally decided to get myself together because it's a great feeling. Um, another thing that comes along with it, you know, you get more attention, I don't really care about attention, but it's really weird. Like when people, you know, used to egg you like back in the day, like, and now it's like, I'm popping now. I'm cute now. It's like back then they didn't want me now. You, you know the rest. You already know the rest. So this is something that comes along with the territory, you know, very fake false vibes, you know, but just be prepared, you know, and just take everything in stride and, you know, take the compliments as they come and, and roll with it, you know, because you put that work in. You put that work in. So you deserve it. Um, let's talk about the spiritual aspect of things because there were some changes, you know, that I noted spiritually for me as well. Um, the Most High had been telling me to fast for years and I was just like, yeah, I bet I just didn't um, because it's just it's quite a commitment. It's, it's quite a commitment to, you know, to do um, any kind of prolonged water fasting. But I did. Um, and as a result of that, I noticed that I my faith absolutely increased. My faith in the most high increased because I was just like, I have to rely on something bigger than bigger and greater than myself in order to accomplish this feat of not eating for a prolonged amount of time. I mean, I did a five day water fast. No, not a, no snacks, no nothing, you know? So I had to like, just be very prayerful the entire time. And being, being like that and, 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 and forcing yourself to, to rely on something greater than yourself and being obedient, you know, to, to the, to the, you know, to the utterance of the most high and just trying to do the right thing. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just know that life is good. Life is good. You know, I won't get into 
my spirituality in this video because that's something for another time but what I will say is and I hope that you know is we are spiritual beings first having a physical experience okay we are spiritual beings having a physical experience we're not physical people just kicking it going about day-to-day -day life like it's nothing we're spiritual Okay, so connect to your source, connect to your source, you know, what, who, whomever your source is, you know, and that strength is going to come. That strength is going to come for sure. Um, but other than that, I hope that this video has been beneficial, uh, you know, and helpful. Um, I guess I can kind of like show off what I look like physically now. I'm smaller for sure. Um, you can definitely tell like my waist. I still got a little tum tum, like a little pudge pudge, but we're going to work on that. I still ain't got no ass, but that's all right, too, because I'm going to work on that, too. If you're coming along for the ride, for this challenge, this weight loss challenge, we got to accomplish these goals. We got to kick these goals in the ass. You feel me? So, all right. I hope you guys are, you know, having a blessed day. And stay positive. Stay hopeful. Stay focused. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.